So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to set y equal to k x, where k is a constant. So now I'm going to rewrite the equation with y equaling to kx. So this would give us x to the power of kx equals kx to the power of x. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the square root on both sides. And this is the same thing as taking the power of one half on both sides. So this is the same thing as x to the power of kx to the power of one half. This is equal to k to the power, sorry, kx to the power of x to the power of one half. Now, if we have something like a to the power of x to the power of y, this is the same thing as a to the power of x times y. So we have x to the power of k of x to the power of 1 half. This is the same thing as x to the power of kx times 1 half, which is the same thing as x to the power of k of x over 2. And this is equal to kx to the power of x times 1 half, which is x over 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to multiply both sides to the power of 2 over x. So I'm going to take the power of 2 over x on both sides. And that means that we multiply 2 over x to both exponents. Now for this, these two would cancel out and these x's would cancel out. So on our left hand side, we would be left with x to the power of k. And now on our right hand side, our twos here, these would cancel out and so would our x's. So we would just have k to the power of x to the power of one, which is simply just k to the power of x. So now we have x to the power of k equals k times x. And now we're gonna divide both sides by x. So by doing that, these two cancel. So on this side, we would just have k equals x to the power of k over x. Now, if we have a over m, over a over n. So for dividing exponents, this is the same thing as a to the power of m minus n. So right here, we have x to the power of k over x to the power of one. This is actually a one equals k. So this is the same thing as x to the power of k minus one, and this is still equal to k.
Now, I'm gonna, multi I'm gonna take the power of one over k minus one on both sides. So by doing that, this would cancel out. And over here, we'd have one over k minus one. So now this would be x equals k to the power of one over k minus one. So now we have our value of x. x is equal to k to the power of one over k minus one. So now we need to find our value of y. Well, we know that y equals kx, right? So this means that if y equals kx, This would mean that y would equal k times x, and we already know our value of x, which is k to the power of 1 over k minus 1. Now, if we want to multiply these two numbers, we would have to add their exponents. So k over here, this is to the power of one. So one plus one over k minus one. And this is actually equal to k to the power of k over k minus one. I just saved a little time because it's actually really simple to do, just one plus one over k minus one. So now we know that y equals k to the power of k over k minus one. So now let's say that k is equal to three because it's a constant, so we could set it to whatever we want. Then x here, x would equal, x would equal, we're replacing k with three, so three to the power of one over three minus one, which is two, and three to the power of one half is the same thing as the square root of three. So we know that x is the square root of three. So now if we substitute three in for the equation for y, we get y equals three to the power of three over three minus one is two. Now, this is the same thing as three to the power of three times one half. And this is the same thing as the square root of three to the power of three. So now as you can see, we have our values for x and y. And now all we need to do is check if they're correct by plugging them into our equation here. So we have x to the power of y equals y to the power of x. So x, as we already know, is the square root of three. So x to the power of y, well, y is the square root of three to the power of three. So the square root of three to the power of three and this is equal to y is the square root of three to the power of three.
and x is the square root of 3. So now, the square root of 3 to the power of the square root of 3 to the power of 3 equals the square root of 3 to the power of 3 times the square root of 3. Now, the square root of 3 to the power of 3, well, this is the same thing as square root of 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 1 half times 3. And this is equal to the square root of 3 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 1 half. Now, the, on the right hand side, we are going to end up with the square root of 3 to the power of 3 and 1 because this is 1. When we're multiplying exponents, we add our exponents, right? So 1 plus 1 half is 3 over 2. Now on our left hand side, we have the square root of 3 to the power of 3. 1 half times 3 is 3 root 2, or sorry, 3 over 2. And now, as you can see, both of these are the same. The square root of 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3 over 2, meaning our values for x and y are true.